How's it going guys? It's Poetry Sud and welcome back to the Canadian Chaos campaign in Hearts of Iron 4 with Together for Victory expansion. Um, let's go ahead and um, get back into it. So yeah, so where we last left off, let's see. So it's June of 37, so time is ticking along pretty quickly, obviously. Uh, if we really want to, we could probably reach the war time uh, by the end of this episode, hopefully. It's, uh, in two episodes we made it, you know one and a half years, and like the first, oh god, my mouse is freaking out again. Um, the first like, uh, epis, like half an episode was, uh, all about kind of just looking at lots of the features and stuff in depth, which I enjoyed. I think that was a good thing to do. So hopefully you guys weren't too bored. We could, we do have enough, uh, to basically go ahead and, uh, get another dude, <laughs> political advisor. I think we should get like one of these guys. Um, well, actually, one thing we should do is, uh, start influencing Mexico. Yeah, that's gonna be good. We need to do this, I think. Um, boost party popularity, fascist, 0.25 a day is fine. Um, I think it's a good idea to do that, um, and I think that will be helpful. I have my dog with me. Hopefully he doesn't leave. He might leave in a second, though, and I might have to let him out of the room, but that's okay. So, in just a second, we're going to be able to break free if we desire, which I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure we do. Um, well, let's just go ahead and, uh, oh, National of Spain won their war, leadership purges in the Soviet Union, end of the Spanish Civil War, Canadian Infantry Corps, uh, which is good, and, oh, hey, uh, oh, we have to be independent. So, if that's the case, I tell you what. Let's just wait nine days, right? I think you have like a month before you... Oh! What is that? You can save... Uh... Okay, I got it. So you can save ten days. I'm glad they actually show you that now. Because like before, I knew that you could, but they never showed you how much it was. So... Okay, so here we go. We're actually now able to raise our autonomy. So we can actually become free. Oh, wait a second. Is this not the last level? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, we became free, but we're part of the allies? What? That doesn't seem right. Unitary Canada. So we do have a new flag now. Okay, yeah. Why are we part of the, the allies, though? Okay, well, I do think we want to do this, because the recruitable population will be nice, uh, among other things. And we're running out of trees to do on, uh, you know, things to do on other parts of the tree. So let's do this. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, that's, that's interesting. Um, as far as this goes... And we probably want to do like a war industrious. I think my dog wants to be let out of the room. I'm going to do that in just a sec. Uh, well, I don't know. These things are better in my opinion because the, the research modifiers are pretty good. Uh, and let me go ahead and be, I'll get back real quick. Come on. Here you go. Here you go, Charlie. Okay. And, uh, ugh, I apologize if they might be you know start barking occasionally but that's what dogs do so i apologize uh, but they're, they're being fine right now um yeah so how much gear do we have we've quite a bit so i think it's time that we go ahead and uh start training some units we don't have enough gear for a third still uh, i think that's okay let's go ahead and put them in saint lawrence and that'll be good they need we don't actually have any support like groups on them that's really weird and kind of concerning honestly but we'll see uh we want to get one of these guys is uh what i'm thinking a military theorist is normally pretty good uh start getting some ticking army experience even if it's just a tiny bit um these guys are all helpful as well though material designer companies are also really good though Support unit research time. That's really interesting. I think we'll go with this though. This is normally what I consider to be best um, And eventually we'll get tanks, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff But I think we want to do this now while we're gonna have a lot of research to be covering 
It's gonna help uh, with this sort of thing that we have here. Um, and then, let's see, what else do we want to be doing? We should probably research the tanks, just so we can, like, stay up to speed. Uh, well, let's go ahead and do this one first, construction two. So we are part of the Allies, which is weird. Actually, there's a coalition of nations from the Cold War, yeah? Hmm. How do we, like, is there, can we not leave? Like. Seems weird. Um, I don't know, man. That seems a little strange that it would just automatically put us in the ally. But it makes sense. I'm not saying it doesn't make sense from like a history standpoint, but I do think there should be like a way. I'm curious. I'm curious. So it says we're fully independent because we are, but we are part of the allies at the same time. Okay, the uh, Japanese war has begun uh, against China. Okay, so now I think we now we have the choice to do this. I think we want to do this as quickly as possible. Obviously, there is other stuff we can do now, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, but I do think that right now what we want to do is do this so we can have Mexico start uh, ticking up with their uh, fascist tendencies. You know, um, so we did get that other... Uh, good chunk of a uh, population that's gonna help us with recruitment and stuff so that's good we got 145,000 manpower now uh, which is not a whole lot obviously but we'll see construction two um, okay so air we should go ahead and do this at some point in time but it's not super necessary. I think we'd go and do this because we aren't going to be using the uh, we aren't going to be using these for a while. We aren't going to be using tanks for a while. But we do need to like stay up to date on it. Apparently, there's one that only has 50 cost. I think we'll take. Excuse me. I think we'll take that just because because it's so cheap. That seems like it won't be too bad. Um. What else do we want to do? We want to do support battalions at some point in time. Uh, but it's maybe not the most pressing concern right now. Let's see. I think air is probably a good idea to do that. Okay. It is weird that it sticks you automatically in the allies, but I think that's okay. Um, so when we... So we should be able to do a... I'm not sure how this is actually going to work. I'm, I'm interested in seeing, but I don't, I'm not sure right now exactly how it's going to work out. Let's go ahead and have these, uh, have some more units be set. Um, how long do they take to recruit? Uh, three or four months. That's pretty good. So we'll be able to recruit some more of those. I think we will go ahead and start making a western front. Um, obviously we're not going to be going to war with the U.S. anytime soon, anytime super soon, but um, sometime in the near future we're going to. Okay, there you go. Let's go ahead and get some commanders set up. That's going to be important. Um, Charles Folk, Thomas Victor Anderson, John Montague, Bert Hoffmeister, Hillfighter. You're a Hillfighter? You'll probably be good in... I mean, there are a lot of hills up here, right? Let's see. Okay. Uh, Indian National Congress triumphs in provincial elections. Okay. Okay, so they actually are going to stick with, uh, with the UK. Okay, cool. Interesting, to say the least. So we can't do this yet. We need to actually get Mexico to be fascist. Uh, so we now we're kind of stuck on that in that area for a little bit. But that's okay though, because I think we want to do this. We get uh, foreign subversive activities efficiency, which is cool. And uh, yeah, I think that's good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be nice. 
Um, meanwhile, what are we doing here? Yeah, we don't have a whole bunch of, uh, of military factories at this point in time. But that's because that's largely due to the fact that we can't really get out of the Great Depression. We can't really start turning around lots of those modifiers. So it's one, two, three, four, plus an support artillery. So that's pretty much all we can do there. Um, let's go ahead and do this. We do want a lot more artillery because we want to be able to put artillery on every single uh, division, which is important to keep in mind. Uh, one thing we should do probably if we want to do that is probably get some steel. I should have uh, been figuring that out earlier. Let's go ahead and do like, we'll support the UK a little bit. That's, I mean, that's probably, that's my bad for not realizing that. I completely forgot, but that's probably okay. It's just been subpar for a while, though. That's the, the main thing. That's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. It's my responsibility, and uh, I'll take responsibility for that. But, you know, what can you do? Sometimes you... Stuff like that slips you by. Um, so we'll go put, go and put this general in charge. I think we might as well just put this guy in charge, even if he's he's better than all the other ones. Even if that modifier only works 1% of the time, he's still 1% better than the other guys. Um, so... Let's go ahead and a, a, aggressively try to take provinces. They were the, as they were when the order was first pointed, painted without adjusting the changes. Coming off the enemy or for more controlled, smaller thrust in enemy territory. I am really excited to be able to use this blitz command because it's like it's the, it's going to change the game up a lot. I feel so that's uh, quite interesting. So let's look at this, since we only have really a full border here, what we need to do is, I think we have a, a normal offensive line that comes down from like here. Well, actually, I think I should split this up. Yeah, you know what, we should probably split this up even more. So let's go and do that. Let's go and speed four for a little bit, so time is still ticking, but we can still kind of have some time to, to do our own thing. Um, I think what we do is we set a border here, right? Um, and then we take all the other ones, we do a new army, this is going to be, we're going to call this the, how do, you, how do you rename this? Uh, this will be the Eastern Theater. Which is more important, and then this one will be the Western Theater. Anschluss happened, okay. Let's kind of pause. Um, and we'll move this one to here as well. But this one, I'm gonna put you guys on a basically a blitz order right here. You guys are gonna be on this side. And what I want you guys to do is uh you're gonna come and blitz to there. And I like that, it's a double arrow, so it stands out, that's nice. Okay, oh, hey, look at this. This is actually really, really uh, nice. Because we have this, now we're able to go down this branch a little more, even if we can't go down like the center of the tree, which is real nice. Um, so let's go ahead and see. We need Mobilization Act, which gives us a little bit less national unity, but factory output and recruitable population factor. Uh, and then the research slot, which you need, oh, but you need that for that. That sucks, darn it. Still, I think that's good. This is good as well. Oh, that's interesting. So actually, we get to modify the Great Depression. So we might be able to still do this, huh? Hmm. I think for now, we do this one. That'll be nice to get steel. We do this one, that's fine. Uh, I don't think it really matters that much, as long as we're getting stuff done with the research. Let's take like two, eh, let's take one of you and put you over here. Uh, and then the other two of you put you like right here. Cool. And what with you guys, I'd like to put you guys on an offensive to Kind of come up from like so what is that it's buffalo so we'll go from buffalo to like new york right so kind of defend along our philadelphia why don't we say that no nah, that's a little stretched thin so kind of like this yeah let's use that so we'll use a couple rivers at various points uh, but not like super 
strictly. Um, and we're going to need a lot more troops if we want to make this work. So keep this in mind. We're going to be able to, we are going to, we're going to be able to get more troops, but keep in mind we want to leave some manpower over for casualties. Um, and we will be able to get more conscription in the near future. Limited conscription. Oh, that's right. We have to, yeah, we have to have commit to the war though. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, I, I think I'm uh, enjoying seeing some of the differences pre-war, but again, let's just go on speed five, because the, the main thing is going to be once we get to the actual war. Uh, I apologize if you can hear my dogs, don't worry. Just just trust me, they're cute. Even if they are fairly annoying when I'm trying to record. Oh god. And I'm like right near the front door, so they if, every, if any time they think they hear something, they're like, Let's go, let's go, let's bark, we gotta bark. It's weird. All right, so I believe actually if we get a tank research should actually cut the thing the research time down to the point where that uh, Research that we're doing will just instantly finish which would be nice, but uh, At the same time. Oh, hey, we can go to war economy. We need to do that like we need to do that right away pretty much but at the same time Tank designer it could be good Could be good Hmm Designer. I think we'll do that for now. So that should like cut down on the. It's not going to cut down at the time, huh? Uh, well, we got our hurricane, our own version of the hurricane. Nice. It's good. Closer support is important, but we're not going to do that yet. Um. I think we go ahead and this is ahead of time. We don't want to do that. We don't want to. Oh, we can do this. Yeah, that's important. All right, do that. Cool, cool. So we're starting to get research actually knocked out for like our weapons and stuff, which is important. You need that once you start going to war. And I'm not sure when we want to go to war, but I think what we'll probably do is wait till we get the... Uh... My plan right now, at least, is I think we're going to wait until we get the... Um... Uh, I think we're going to wait until we get the focus done that allows us to get Mexico involved. I think that will be the best thing to do. So we flipped when we were at like 36, and I'm guessing that they're gonna be fairly soon. Sometime in the next maybe, you know, uh, they're going at 0 .8 to 0 .08 a day rather, but uh, or a little less, but either way, they should be flipping sometime in the next uh, couple months or hopefully, you know, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, but we'll have to see what happens. Unitary Canada, we do actually have a different name now. Um, because we're independent, which makes sense. Let's come over here. So now, oh, we can actually do, oh, it only requires one of the following. Okay, yeah, well, we need to do that. Research law is super important, so I'm glad I went that route, actually. Um, with you guys up here, what do I want to do with you? I'm probably gonna just do like a slow advance down here. Take Seattle. Don't worry about Spokane so much. Spokane, right? Yeah. Um, but, let's see. As far as recruitment, can we add another one? You're gonna probably... Let's uh, let's not do that. All right. Oh, we're, we're paused. That makes sense. Um, but, yeah. Game gets a little bit laggy on speed five because it's going like super, super fast. But either way, we should probably be going to war at the beginning of like next episode or, oh, well, actually wait, this episode is probably about over, isn't it? Yeah, never mind. So not, definitely not the beginning of the next one. Maybe like the beginning of the next one um, or something like that. We'll see. This is gonna be good to get another research slot and get that going. What we probably do, one, one thing that I kind of always forget to do is I always forget to like go for uh, the fall of Nanjing. Wow, already. You know what? Something that I've noticed is that all of the wars that we've seen so far... Oh, Manchuko is back, by the way, if you didn't uh, know that. That's interesting. All of the wars that are like scripted, like the, the Spanish uh, Civil War and stuff, they actually have gone by really quickly. I wonder if the AI is just that much better or if it's just a chance thing, because occasionally that does happen too, so. 
That's interesting. <laughs> um, since we're in the Allies and we were a Dominion, we can actually see what the UK has. So obviously they have quite a few troops, but nothing like ridiculous, you know, so that's good. Um, and they have no troops up here, which is nice. They never do. Um, because, you know, who cares about Canada? Am I right? Hey, I'm just teasing. Um, let's go ahead and... Still 38. We could go ahead and do that. But I think instead we go for maybe a... Actually, we don't have that much to research. Uh, Mountaineers are good. Paratroopers are also good. I think... I'm really excited to get to the war and use the Blitz commands and stuff. I think it'll give a whole new, like, aspect to the, to the war that there wasn't before. And I like that. Um, mine the shield is good. We get some steel. Polymer Corporation gets synthetic refineries, which is good. Uh, it's not great, but it's like pretty good to get oil. Free oil is good. Um, that one is good too. I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. There's a lot of good stuff that we need to do. Um, na again, I'm not sure if we want to go National Steel Car or send in the zombies. We're gonna have to figure that out based on what our manpower is looking like and stuff. Uh, I think we go ahead and get the steel. That'll be nice. I think that'll be good. We actually haven't had like any additional... Whoa, why is this glowing? Oh, it shows you the, the, the new stuff. That's good. That's uh, that's really good. I like that. I think that's a, a good change that it does that. Oh, we have a research slot. Don't forget. I mean, all of these are important. Marines, uh, paratroopers, I feel like we should just research all of them. Uh, we do need more resources. Tungsten, but for one tungsten, I don't think it's really that worth it, which might be a something that's debatable in of itself. Um, I think after this, we're going to build a military factory, by the way. But let's look at stuff real quick. Uh, we should go ahead and wrap up this episode. Let's take this as a... Good sign that we should wrap this episode up. Thank you guys for watching. Um, again, this is a this is probably the last time I'll say this, but this is a series that's in its infancy. It's a new series. Um, it's a really awesome thing that I'm able to play this early on the channel. So any support that you could give me means a whole bunch. Comments, uh, likes, uh, just anything, you know, any interaction that you can do. Uh, tell me your thoughts. Even if you think I'm playing this the wrong way, I you know, I will, you know, respond. I try to respond to all the comments um, on these videos and and talk to you guys. So anyways, all that is greatly appreciated. Yeah, excuse me. Greatly appreciated. Go ahead and uh, leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video of Canadian Chaos. Goodbye.